Olivia, should Sunak be worried? Well, it's a sort of ludicrous own goal from Rishi Sunak. Uh, apparently, he took off his seatbelt to film the video, which just seems a little bit ridiculous. Uh, worst case scenario, he gets fined £100 by Lancashire Police. Obviously, that's not a massive problem legally or anything, but it will put political pressure on him. Labour will point out that it's the second time that he's been fined. I mean, as a side note, I find it quite funny the way Rishi Sunak, who comes across as a pretty straight-laced sort of a man, keeps getting fined for very rebellious uh, breakings of the law because first there were the drinking during uh, drinking in a party during lockdown and now this. Um, but really, from a, from a wider perspective, if you just sort of zoom out a bit, mm. it's just beginning to feel as though Rishi Sunak is scoring these own goals. He was trying to... He was up in Lancashire doing doing this, uh, mm. uh, handing out money for a levelling up fund. It should have been a really easy trip for him. It should have mm. been an easy political win. And he's made it difficult for himself. Meanwhile, you've got Labour cab uh, shadow cabinet members coming out day after day with huge reforms to mm. their sectors. So we saw Jonathan Ashworth a couple of weeks ago, Bridget Phillipson, Shadow Education Secretary, doing uh, serious childcare reform plans. Uh, Nick uh, Thomas Simmons today talking about the clean energy plan. And it's just... From the outside, you can imagine voters beginning to feel as though Labour is looking like a credible electoral option and the Conservatives are looking a little bit silly. Well, it feels a bit like, do as I say, not as I do. I mean, there he was with his reasonably compressed car, which wasn't his car, uh, filling up, which he didn't appear to know how to fill up a tank of fuel. Didn't appear to know how to use any of the, you know, with the contactless, because obviously it doesn't appear that he ever pays for anything. And then, you know, going to a, a place where people are in poverty in Parada shoes, you know. And there he is now, sitting there without the seat, but what he says that he took off to film. But I, why would you do that? Nobody would. So it's basically, it doesn't start to feel like they're, they seem to have a sense of entitlement, is what seems to be coming across to me. Well, I think that Rishi Sunak's team um, will be, you know, head in hands about this because, yes, that is exactly the impression that they want to avoid. It was always a sort of political risk having uh, such a wealthy person as Prime Minister. And during the, during the first COVID lockdown, for example, Rishi Sunak came across as enormously slick. Mm. He was really well liked. He came out with these PR stunts and they were pulled off very sleekly. He seems to have lost that time. And that is a big problem for him and his team because that was the way to sort of differentiate him, him from Keir Starmer. Both men are thought, but this is what you're hearing, this is what I'm hearing from inside Labour and Conservative camps. The worry is that they both know that their man is, is a little bit boring, really. Uh, but the hope is that they can, you know, differentiate themselves. And Keir Starmer's doing that by coming up with this big reforming agenda. Rishi Sunak's answer to that seems to be to do these slick PR stunts. But if he can't pull them off, then he's got absolutely no chance. Well